They, that's divide and conquer. That's they right. divided us because just think about it. That's right. The, just in the city of Chicago, it's a whole lot of Mexicans in Chicago. It's a whole lot of Puerto Ricans in Chicago. It's a whole lot of blacks in Chicago. What, if, what would happen if we came together? We won't be the minority. They call us the minority. But that's the, they call us the minority because they separated us and they got us divided. Right. If we come together, we know we are not the minority. Right. We are the majority in this that's land. Right. That's we right. are the majority in this earth. That's right. Just like the Bible, the Bible says, as the sand of the sea. That's talking about the Israelites. That's we are right. everywhere. And we are, do you see now, you ask the question, I want to make sure you got clarity. You say, how are the Mexicans, the Israelites? You see the correlation? Now let's read this. Now let's read this. There's more. Lamentations 5 and 1. Lamentations chapter 5 verse 1. Bring it out. Remember, O Lord, what has come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. So this is the, this is the prophet. This is the prophet Jeremiah. He's right. He said, remember, O Lord, what has become upon us. Remember our reproach. Read. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. Our houses to aliens. So it says our inheritance was turned to strangers. When the conquistadors came over here and took this land, that's our inheritance being turned to strangers. Because they came over here and took what was ours. Our houses to aliens. We're paying taxes on houses on the land that's ours. That's right. That don't even make sense. But we're doing it because we, we decided to break God's commandments. Read. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. Our houses to aliens. We are orphans and fatherless. Our mothers are as widows. That's what's going on with the ice coming in and taking the children. To, that's what's going on. Bible prophecy. Read. That's right. We have drunken our water for money. We have drunken our water for money. This is this was our land, but yet we gotta we gotta pay a water bill. We gotta go and get. Uh, we gotta go to the store and buy Aquafini, Dasani, Ice Mountain. Right. We gotta go buy our water to quench our thirst. Teach. Read that again. We have drunken our water for money. And we got to pay for it. This is our land. The water come out the ground. It, it falls out the sky freely and it come out of the earth freely, but we paying for it. Bring it out. What sense does that make? It's Bible prophecy. Read. Our wood is sold unto us. Our wood is sold unto us. The houses are built. When we go, yeah, you might you have a lot of a lot of us are construction construction workers. We got do got these construction jobs. We do this. What are we going to buy our wood from? Bring it out. Home Depot, Menards, Lowe's. Bring it out. But these are our, these are our trees. Teach. This is our land. Bring but we got to go. We got they go they go and destroy forest preserves. Do destroy. They destroying the earth and then selling the wood back to us. Read that again. Our wood is sold unto us. Our wood is sold unto us. This is the this is the this is a plea to the Most High God. Remember our reproach. Why? Basically, why is these things happening to us? Because we broke His commandments. Because we turned our back on Him. Read. Our necks are under persecution. We labor and have no rest. It says our necks are under persecution. Uh, when when did it happen? That, that article you sent me. That was earlier this week. Yeah, that was Somebody got shot. It was on 26. Can't remember the, the street, but the, a, a young man was, I think his name was Mark. He yeah. was shot down by the police. That's called being under persecution. And this is not the first time. A lot, a lot, of, the, a lot of Hispanics are shot down by the police, and a lot of the blacks are shot down by the police. Mark and what asked. happens? Mark what? Mark never is. Mark never, never, never is. Yes, sir. Mark Navarez. Where was it at? Where did it happen at? West 24th Street in South Hamlin. 24th and South Hamlin. That's right around the corner. And what's going to happen? What did they say that the police was put on administrative leave? That's it. That's it. That's administrative. Police was put on administrative leave. Is that justice? Is that justice? Zechariah 11 and 5. Let me show you why that's happening. Because this is how we know without a shadow of a doubt that this is our Bible, this is our records, and we are the Israelites. That's the blacks, right. Hispanics, and the Native Americans. There's no doubt about it because everything that the Bible has written is about us. That's Read right. what you got. Zechariah chapter 11, verse 4. Thus saith the Lord my God, feed the flock of the slaughter. So we just we reading this. It says, feed the flock of, my, of the slaughter. Read. Who 
whose possessors slay them. Whose possessors slay them. Who possessed us in this land? The white man. Who possessed us? And That's what it right. say? It says whose possessors what? Whose possessors slay them. Whose possessors slay them or shoot them down in the streets. Oh, my, my, my life was, and what they say, um, my, I was, um, I felt in danger of my life when a brother pulled his cell phone out of his pocket. I was in danger of my life when all he said was, why you pulling me over? We get shot down for the most stupid reasons, and what happens? Nothing. Teach. They get put on administrative leave. With pay. With pay. That's not justice, but when we, this is why we came to the, we, it's not justice, correct? Would you agree? Read. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they hold themselves not guilty. Time after time after time, we get shot down and what happened? They go to court. They might prolong it three, four years. And at the end of the verdict, was it? what is it? Not guilty. They find a reason, a loophole to say that they was justified in what they did. Bring it up. Every time. It never fails. No matter where you at, whether you're in Chicago, Detroit, St. Louis, no matter where you at, the same thing is happening over and over and over again. Bring it up. Why is that happening? Because you, you are, you're lighter, but what they call us? Black and brown. Right. We're the same people. That's right. We're the same exact people, and these, this Bible fits us and only us. That's right. That's right. It describes us down to the T. You understand? Lost Give me that lost trial. So just, just, just a little bit more. Just in case some of you might not be convinced. I, how y'all doing? Come over closer. We y'all can y'all come and look at the uh, posters. Uh, give me um, one more second, one more second, one more, one more. Give me 187, page 187. Because remember, because we showing you that the, you got a flyer, right? Y'all got a flyer. He looks back at his ancestry and stuff like that. Um, so read what you read what you read. This is the lost tribes and promised lands, the origins of American racism. Page 187. For with increasing frequency and conviction, Duran came to see elements of a Judaic character in the old Aztec religion. So Judaic. What is Judaic? Okay, right, you're right. And it says, it's, read that again. Read that just that little, that last part. Judaic character in an old Aztec religion. So he found traits of a Judaic character in Aztec religion. Who was the Aztecs? Mexicans, okay. So he found Judaic character in Aztec religion. Let you know further. You know, Israelites, read. At first, this by Aztec customs, such as. Oh, I'm sorry. At first, this tendency appears only as a fervent search for Jewish analogies. Provoked days of the year. The prohibition of drinking liquids after the eating of certain ritual foods. And the use of baths for purification. Purification. In time, this begins, this begins to seem to Duran like overwhelming evidence that the Indians are indeed descended from the lost tribes of Israel. We didn't write this book. In time, this begins to seem the Duran like overwhelming evidence that the Indians are indeed descended from the lost tribes of Israel. That's Meaning right. that the, 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 the Hispanics were, and even when you look, when you do, when you search history and you, you seem like you know a lot of history. When you look at your history, a lot of the history reflects the Bible. A lot of it, like the fringes, that's the customs of the Israelites. Bring it out. All of those things were done by us. They got the, they were still following them. They were, now, I will say, in our wickedness, in the Hispanic wickedness, all of us, we was in idolatry. We was doing, we was doing idolatrous things, and that's why the things happened to us, while we was conquered, while we was sent into slavery. But a lot of the customs that you find that you, that you all that we were doing is biblical. It's biblical customs. It's Israelite customs or Hebraic, Hebraic customs. That's right. Because it shows that we are the Israelites. Now I want to read because I know you said you got to go, but I want to read this because this is the first, this very first thing is going to be quick. John 3 and 16. I want to I show you how that world is not talking about the whole world. And I want you to start at verse 14. And we're going to read through. 
John 3 and 14. Verse John. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. When Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, you ain't got to get it. When Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, who he lift up the serpent for? Really when they was, bit, they was bitten, they was being bitten by poisonous snakes. And he had the, the Most High God told him to make a, a snake and put it on a uh, 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 stick. And when they looked up, looked upon it, then they would be healed. So this is the comparison. So Moses did that for the Israelites. Read. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. So just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so was the Son of Man lifted up. So that serpent that was lifted up in the wilderness was to bring healing to the Israelites if they was bitten by the snakes. That's the same thing. That's the same reason that Christ was lifted up. Bring it up. Because he was lifted up to save Israel out of their sins. That's, That's right. Breathe. Right. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world. Isaiah 45 and 17. So notice it said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that all who believed on him will be saved. Right? And that's from paraphrasing. Now let's read this. This is Isaiah 45 and 17. Because remember, the Bible has to be read precept upon precept. Correct? You know that. Read. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. So it says, but Israel, this is Isaiah. What was Isaiah? A prophet. He wrote prophecies of things that he seen that was going to come to pass, right? So read it again. Read it from the top. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. He said, Israel shall be saved in the Lord. Read. With an everlasting salvation. With an everlasting salvation. Who is Israel? The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's he said, right. Israel going to be saved. He didn't say everybody. He said, Israel going to be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Teach. It's everlasting. Can you end something that say, can you end something that's everlasting? Can't end it. Read. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. Notice that. Read it again. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. World without end. Jeez. So that lets you know. this That world that you read in John. Get, get John 18 and 20. That world that you're reading in John 3.16 ain't talking about the whole world. Because when you look at the when you look at the word world, there's different, there's different worlds. You have the sea world, you have the animal world, you have different worlds within the world. New world. New world. You have it's different. It ain't just talking about the one world. You can't just take one scripture and, and attribute it to everybody when the Bible ain't talking about the other the other nations. It's talk, it's our history book and it's talking about us. John 18 and 20. John chapter 18 verse 20. Jesus answered him, I speak openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple, whither the Jews always resort. Did you catch that? Let's read it again. Jesus answered him, I speak openly to the world. So Jesus said, I speak openly to the world. Who was he talking about? Who was he talking openly to? I ever taught in the synagogue. He taught in the synagogue. Who was in the synagogue? Right. And in the temple. And in the temple. Who was in the temple? The Jews. The Jews. Read. Whether the Jews always resort. And just like you said, it shows whether the Jews always resort. So Christ came for the Israelites and the Israelites only. That's the right. world that he's talking about is the Israelites. Give me 1 John 2 and 15. The world is the Israelites. Us, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we've been lied to. We've been taught doctrines of devils. Teach. And that's what we're following after. That's why our young men are being shot down in the streets. That's why we have the gangs. That's why we got crack cocaine. That's why we got all that stuff in our community. Because we are departed from our God. Read. First John chapter 2, verse 15. Bring it out. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, 
The love of the Father is not in him. So if you love the ways of this world, the love of God is not in you. Do you know what the love of God is? And the ways, the ways of the world says, love not the world, neither the things in the world. That's talking about a different world than what we read in John 3 and 16. So that just lets you know that it's different, it's different worlds. When you see the word world, you just can't pinpoint everything to say, oh, it's the whole world talking about everybody. No, that's not what the Bible is talking about. Teach. You understand? Read it out, Doc. Hebrews 1 and 2. Um, I had it. I had I'll read through this. Uh -huh. You guys have like a church that you guys go to? Yeah, we have a given one. You got a, that's the only one you got? Give them one of them English ones. Our contact information is right on the back. You can give us a call. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. So, remember, it says, I want to read this last one. It says, read that last part, that last precept. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So he says, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. You know what love that, that's, that's talking about? You know what love is? You got it? You know what love is according to the Bible. It says the love of the Father. What's the love of the Father? It's God's love for us. Read. Let's leave. Let's see what that's let's see what the because when you when we when we define something that the Bible tells us, we gotta use the Bible to define it. Because like you like it's like we said, and you know, because you're familiar with the scriptures. Precept must be upon precept. So the Bible is gonna explain itself. It don't need men to interpret it. The Bible is going to explain itself. Let's read that. 1 John chapter 5, verse 3. Read it out. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. So this is the love of God. The love of the Father is that we keep his commandments. He used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.